What up guys? Welcome back to another video yet again. We are officially back in Ontario at the shop. You can see we got the whole gang here. A whole lot going on inside, working on all of our cars. The last video, when we went to go save Dre's car, we realized that my power steering pump failed. Ended up driving it back, no problem. The next day, driving into the shop, I hit a huge puddle. The road was flooded, so the car was completely out of service. While I was away, I ordered all the pumps. I went ahead, I got myself a new water pump because I have a feeling that the whining noise coming from the motor is the failing water pump. So that's obviously gonna be next, especially with how we drive the car. We are putting a lot of use on it. So I ordered the water pump and the entire power steering system just to refresh it all. So we're gonna be installing that today. So these are the parts we got, you guys can see. I believe this is the power steering pump itself. This is the part that I believe fully failed when I hit that huge puddle on the road and it ended up just like squeaking a lot. Of then I went ahead, ordered this brand new water pump. You can <laughs> new water pump with the fan clutch. All good. You can see we got the lines and one of these lines, I'm not completely sure which one, is what actually failed originally when we realized the pump was leaking. It was a full clean cut right at the part here, which is expected, the car's a 2000. That's exactly where the uh, cooling system on my car for the uh, expansion tank, the one hose that connected to it, it fully filled in the same area. So that stuff's just kind of generally gonna go. And then I believe this is the reservoir, brand new reservoir, just to put the entire new system on. So we're gonna go ahead get the car in or the car's already inside we're just gonna go crazy and get everything done as quickly as we can so let's get it the car's just been sitting it's absolutely filthy we're gonna be going ahead to the front of a it's super loud in here i might have to do a little bit of a voiceover I think it just seized. The brake seized. I think it was sitting for, yeah, I think it's, it's the car was sitting for so long, the brake seized. Huh? It hasn't started in a while, bro. All right, guys, so you can see I got uh, the first two bolts off the power steering reservoir, just two 13 mils. And then as soon as I started moving it, you guys can see this wire isn't even attached. I'll zoom in. You can see it's literally just wiggling around, so that's crazy. You can see it completely ripped off, and that makes sense on why absolutely none of the power steering was staying in. That's crazy. And this thing is absolutely seized, jammed shut. So that's definitely the issue. We're gonna go ahead and throw that on. Is that it has this metal piece on the end, which the original one doesn't. And that's to actually replace this line. And you just slide this plastic joint in and it's uh, good enough to work for us. So it actually is cool. They replaced the plastic piece with the metal one just because it fails over time. We finally got the power steering pump out. You can see this is the original and this piece is completely seized. This is the new one you can see moves freely there's absolutely no play this one has no play either now but it's because it's jammed shut so nice new clean one we're gonna go ahead get this one laid in this is the bracket pretty much what you're gonna have is there's gonna be a 13 mil holding this bracket on there's four 40 uh torques that are gonna be holding these guys into place and then the ones on the back which is holding the bracket in but uh, if you get the 14 or the 13 mil on it, you'll be able to drop the bracket and the whole piece will come out getting the 40, uh, 40 torques on the back. You put or the lines off, you can see the difference. These ones are gunked up, completely rusted out. So it'll be nice to get some fresh ones on. Old pump. Sure. You've got the new pump installed right there. The lines just bolt in there. There's a 10 mil that holds this guy on and then it's a 19 to get this uh, 
drain bolt off of this that's going to be bolted on so get that all off and you'll be good to go all right guys i'm completely filthy as you guys can see we got the job done just went ahead i completely spilt it all over but i found a funnel i'll clean that up pumps all in all the new parts you can see pipe all the way across and then the physical water pump itself or the power steering pump we're gonna do the water pump a different video and uh call it a day for tonight get that on lower the car and hopefully she's good to go it's a tick there's no thing so that's just a tick Bus? Yeah, it's bus. Let's go. So, there's a bit of a tick, but it is what it is. It'll work itself out. It kind of does that. The car hasn't been started in like almost two weeks to clear everything off and let's go have some fun. <laughs> 